I think there's some crow feet in there. Yeah. Yep. If we can get a 5 -eight. Oh, yeah. That would be this is uh, Coleman fuel that's used for the uh, starting procedure. No, that was kind of funny because the guy was sort of... We're using uh, compressed air to pressurize both the uh, pilot and main fuel. We're reading about 15 PSI. So we're pressurizing both the uh, pilot and main fuel tank. Uh, using compressed air. We're running kerosene for the uh, main fuel tank. Adding to the main fuel, which is underneath the rear seat. That might tighten up. This is water addition into the boiler. With a hose. That wouldn't be a vent. Well, I guess that's the air pressure. Well, it, no, because it's, it's right at the bottom. The boiler's just about full. That's alright. Just let it, just let it come right out the engine. Yeah. And then we'll. Um, this is the engine drip, and right. uh, that's how we judge water getting uh, uh, to it. And here's the valve that turns it on and off. That's good water. <laughs> you get it. I yeah, hear the true. bubbling. Mm. And for a little while, we're going to have to do it if we can't, you know, uh, Dave, we need something to clean these out. I usually have a size. Uh, yes, it is. It's the it's what they clean out when they um, do the burner. When they do the burner in your furnace. That's the clean out. And this thing needs tightening. It really burns hot enough so that it keeps itself clean. But when this is called PM preventive maintenance. So before you f get everything hot, it's nice to clean it up. Checking the uh, oil level right now to a plug. Right. And there's about a quarter of an inch in there. We usually have about a half an inch. So I'll get Tom because I think he knows where the oil is. Okay. Custom tool. Yes. <laughs> it's certainly going to leak here, but it, it, she's certainly back way off. You can see this one here is so in. Tightening up well, that's packing. Quite a bit of vibration down the steam there. comes in. Not much. Yeah, that one's kind of loose, too. Okay. Okay. And it takes the steam cylinder oil, because we yep. have a whole, we have two or three buckets. A little label on a piece of <laughs> a stick, right? So this is the uh, cylinder oil that, uh, that's a, yeah, special oil that just made for steam engines. Yes, it's a very heavy weight. Is because we're making room for steam. So you've taken five gallons out of a totally filled boiler. Yeah, so right? now we've got 20 gallons of water in there. Jeez. Uh, Susan's lighting a fire. Pilot, um, so, that we can pilot. so we're preheating the pilot um, part of it. You see that little vaporizer? That yes. is the vaporizer right there to the pilot. Mm -hmm. Right there. So basically we can almost do nothing but put our put this right on there until it's red hot and then we can turn the, the pilot fuel on. Red hot, wow. You think it needs to be much. Okay. And then you should have seen this drop a it little did. bit. It did. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Okay. So now it's yep. open to this. Now there's another valve out here. So they've just opened the uh, pilot valve on so, the dash. Yeah, we'll wait until we see a little red hot there. But, so, so you open up the valve. Okay, to keep the vaporization up. And then what I like to do while I'm here to hurry up the process is I like to heat the branch fork a little bit while I'm here. And that, that, and you have to be really careful when you're doing this not to, to swing this through the, um, the hole that the services the pilot fuel because you can blow it right out. So you notice I do this. Okay, you've got this going here, that's so good. a little bit. Okay. That's good. Yeah. What we're doing now is we're burning out fuel that's in the line. Okay? And this is just fine. But watch that pilot. Make sure the pilot doesn't go out. Because even need that. To be down low because this pilot is up. It's in into the. Right. Fight fire is with fire. Okay? Just and you can hole. hear it hissing. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what that is, is it's still cold. It takes a while to warm up. Yeah, this is the a pilot uh, warming up right yeah. now. It's got a nice blue flame. That's the pressure of the pilot now. Every, every machine is different. It's whatever your pilot likes to run. Needle raises off the mark. Mm. Because if, if you don't raise it off the mark, you don't know how much 
fuel you're, you're putting no in, right. you have no idea. So I put it off just a little bit, and then I pump this up to 60, 80 pounds. So you add fuel, you're going to increase your pressure. Right, right. Yeah. it's going to increase, so that way you know mm -hmm. it's pumping. Yep. If you if it's not showing there, oh, you could okay. pump for half an hour. Right. And, and then you open that. that or close it? You open it. it. It's yeah. always closed when you get done. So, because that is keeping right. the air in it. But it's it always open this. during startup right. up and operation. Right. Just if stays open the whole open, time. If that isn't open, you're not going to pump anything and you're not going to... Right. Almost ready to fire up. Uh, Good. Okay. So I think we're ready. Anytime, and I've got the pilot. Let me just there we go. Well, it's now as set we, as it's going to be. This is experimental, isn't it? Yeah. And and uh, we open way up and then back off. Correct? Well. Because you got to fill the line. Hey, good. Looking okay. Oh my God. This is saying. What? Oh. Don't say it. <laughs> I just cracked that a little. A smoke or? Smoke. Oh, by yeah. smoke. Oh, no, it's, it's a vapor. Okay. And actually, when it's fully vaporized, you don't see anything. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, the reason that doesn't sound very good, because you only got 25 pounds. So, see, that, that, that only thing? runs in 25 Oh, my gosh. Uh, how is that? Have we pressurized the main fuel yet? Oh, yeah. It's all pressurized? Yeah. This one here moved. Okay, so that's open, and now you'll hear the change out there, maybe. Hear it coming up? Yeah. There it comes. Yeah. Hard to see a thing. That's a you good go. thing. Come take a look at it. Like all we're seeing is, the, is what I didn't shut off. Where is that? Key? It's just that branch fork can twist. And you don't want that. To, you want to want the branch fork to stay centered. This is hand pumping to maintain a fuel pressure of 120 psi. Might be put out up here. As a vapor. Yeah. Oh, I like that sound. This is the uh, drip opening now. And it's open during startup to remove so uh, get, uh, any water from the uh, cylinder. Uh, water pressure is at 120 psi yeah. yeah. Once it gets moving, the pump will maintain pressure. We're running Lisa down, or Gary down. We're getting too much violence in one hit. That would be bad. Yeah, we definitely need to put a cushion on this guy. Right? Mm -hmm. Around. 200 psi, and I think they're going to blow down the sight glass. People don't blow it as much. Susan's going to move it ahead. <laughs> and it's very important to do delegate. Working water out of the cylinders by going back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Because um, otherwise you blow the head off the cylinder. You know, if you if you just take off, it's really dangerous to do. And the burner is off, so it's not we can only put 15 pounds of air in there. We can bleed a little off that whistle, but then we disable the whistle. We can. That's exactly nice. Yeah. Smooth.
piece of the fuel uh, pressure tank. Okay. They're yeah, putting in a it. cushion of air with and the he top. And, and cause sometimes we would put air. Okay, guys, I'll wave. Bye.